let's take a look at gain sharing plans, a type of incentive plan. Gain sharing plans are designed to increase an organization's efficiency by increasing productivity of the company's employees or lowering the firm's labor costs. Under these plans, employees earn a share of the gains of their productivity with the company. The gains may be realized in one of two ways. First, if the firm's collective productivity improves and the employees exceed some predetermined productivity level, they receive part of the monetary value of the increased productivity. Second, if employees are able to maintain the same level of productivity but do so with fewer costs, they share the gains of their increased efficiency. Two common plans that are used to realize these gains are scallion plans and impro share plans. A scallion plan can help reduce a firm's labor costs without corresponding decreases in productivity levels. Under this plan, employees make suggestions on how to improve a firm's productivity and offer those suggestions to a review committee for its consideration for implementation. If the review committee accepts the plan and its implementation results in increased efficiency, the gains of that efficiency are shared with employees. The incentive is based on improving the relative level or ratio of the firm's labor costs to the sales value of the products it produces. By providing employees with a portion of any savings they help realize through participation and suggestions, companies are directly rewarding employees for taking steps to increase their productivity levels. A somewhat different approach to gain sharing is the impro share plan. Improshare plans are based on the number of hours a firm expects to take to reach a certain level of output. In essence, it's not based strictly on cost savings, but on time savings per unit of production. To implement this style of plan, companies must first establish the expected hours per unit of productivity for a group of employees. If the employees are able to achieve a set level of productivity in fewer hours than expected, they receive an equal share of the hours saved in the form of pay. Similar to the standard hour plan at the individual level, the primary impact of the ImproShare plan is that it encourages employees as a group to produce a greater quantity of output. The primary advantages of gain-sharing plans are that they help foster a participatory environment in which employees are able to help improve productivity and are rewarded for making useful suggestions. An additional advantage of gain-sharing plans is their instrumentality, that is, there is a clear link between the effort employees expend and the rewards they receive. As with team incentive plans, however, one potential problem is the existence of free riders in a group. An additional potential problem is that the plans may be too complex for employees to understand. 